lose a snack. Mm. So, you've considered the possibility of becoming a Zeus. Being a god in the sky, the entirety of all the maps, and the possibilities you can create are endless. You've just realized you have zero fucking clue on where to start. Well, not to worry, my children. But this count's got your back. In the minor time I've spent playing this game, there are a few tips and tricks I've learned and decided that fuck it. I will compose a video that is so large and big brained it will become the most comprehensible and beneficial YouTube video on the Arm 3 Zeusing. Known to man. But, before we start, this is not my genuine dog shit opinion, but 100% objective fact and cannot be argued. So let's start right at the beginning. What's your player base? Who will be playing this operation? You definitely didn't fucking make like an hour or two or before, because you completely fucking forgot you had an op rusted. Every player base from 200 plus player units to a small group of friends has a niche. What defines your unit? Are you a group of super fast, high paced, high speed, low drag operators? Or a group of anti-communist guerrilla fighters who Jerry rigged an M2 onto a Toyota Hilux for shits and giggles? <laughs> or are you a star sim, so on and so forth, right? Your first port of call is figuring out what your players want. Once you've figured that out, it's all downhill from there. Then you gotta decide on the play style and theme of this operation. Is it combined arms? Is it a shooty shooty gun funnel? Is it a horror? Is it a storyline driven psychological terror written so perfectly your unit will sleep in fear of the things they've done and they've seen? Either way, above all else, they want to be entertained. In every op where I've been a part of, there has always been a deciding factor of whether an op will be complete fucking dog shit or one that's enticing. And it all comes down to how well you show the story and you don't tell it. Whether you're simply capturing an airfield or conducting a large-scale assault on the island of Altus, there's always a story to tell. Instead of explaining the context of the operation, the brief, for like fucking two hours, give them what they need to imagine the picture, then paint it. Add craters and destroyed vehicles that promote the situation you give them in the brief. Don't be that fucking shit cunt that goes, Oh, the bad guys took over the fucking airfield, and we, we need to take it back. Actually make like they took it in the- make it- fuck! Make it look like they took it in the first place. I can't speak to that. I guess it can all be compressed down into immersion. You are the Zeus, and this is your universe that you've created, or you fucking pull shit out of your ass from something else, but immerse your players. If they didn't want to be in your operations, they wouldn't be in your unit in the first place, so don't be afraid to be creative and be different. In the four units I've zoosed for and over the past five years, there has always been one campaign I will always look back to. Coming home campaign. One mission, on average, took me about 103 hours to make, and it was dynamic. Dynamic comes in with immersion, like dynamic in the sense that the player's actions will have a cause and effect. Sparing a particular vehicle, not taking a particular objective in a set time or sequence, or their insertion and extraction plan will have its respective consequences. It will also give your players a sense of achievement, should the consequences benefit them. 